Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So we're continuing our build in our Ford Bronco. We barely got this thing off the trailer last time, but hey, now it's on the lift and we'll be able to find out what is going on. We still don't know if it starts, if it runs. I mean, after being rolled a couple times, hopefully the insides are good. Definitely got shaken up a little bit. But before we try to start it, we're gonna go ahead and see why it didn't roll, what's going on in the front, because I put that lift kit on there and maybe I did something wrong, or I don't know, it was kind of late last night. It definitely out here for a while. So now we've got a fresh mind. We're feeling pretty good about it. Let's go ahead and lift it up, take the wheel off and see what's going on and see if we get it to spin and find the problem and then get it to start. Let's get this thing lifted up. All right guys, I got it jacked up. And man, last night I was really hoping to be something simple that nothing too crazy was going on. And right away I could tell what is happening. Yeah, here, come check it out and see what's happening. 99% sure this is our problem. <laughs> Outer tie right end is all up inside that rim. So basically preventing it from spinning, we are hitting and hitting pretty hard. You could tell all the wear in there. I mean, these are the original wheels that took a beating. So it's not the first time I'm doing something to them, but yeah, they are not spinning. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Either get spacers, we need bigger wheels, which makes sense. We're gonna go for bigger wheels anyway, but hopefully that was the only issue. Let's fix that and see if it still spins. Hopefully that'll be the only issue and we take this wheel off and it should spin. That'd be great. And these are so hard to put on in the trailer because that bar was right there and you had to, oh, that was rough. But happily, it's, it's off and moving forward. Okay. Look at that. Perfectly fine. Rotor's moving around a little bit, but that is spinning nicely. Wow, check this out. So we got ourselves a really nice inner chamfer that was made by trying to spin the wheel. So guys, check that out right there. You can see aluminum shavings off our wheel. So that's what was rubbing. So it's not a big deal. We need a spacer, we need bigger wheels with our new spindles. Oh, that's a relief. Starting off pretty good. All right guys, just went to my local advance. I got myself some wheel spacers. So hopefully this will be able to push the wheel out far enough so I don't scratch and hit and rub over it. Let's go ahead and get that done and make this thing spin. Wow, guys, I went ahead and doubled it up and still it is right there and will still be touching. And even if I could double it up, my studs aren't long enough and I can't even get a lug nut on there. So that's not gonna work. Either these rims will not work at all or I need some big old spacers. I'll probably order some custom spacers and really get this pushed out. <sighs> it is what it is. You get your face what you can and move on. That's all good. Thing cranks over. We haven't started it since we got it. So it's definitely nerve wracking. I'm excited, nervous at the same time. Went ahead and put new oil in it, changed the oil filter on it. So now we know our oil's good, um, coolant's good. So hopefully this will crank over. Battery is low, we got about two volts right now. So we definitely need to charge that. But before I start messing with the airbags, getting the stuff out, I just want to see it start and run before I take more things apart. So let's go ahead and put some power to it and see if it starts. Okay. Let's see. Fancy, fancy. Sorry guys, kind of dark in here. All right, 4,900 miles. First start, let's see what happens. Nice. Took a little second there because the battery's still dead. That jump box wasn't the best, but yeah. There we go. So we got a 
So there you go, there we go. Traction lights on, ABS lights on, airbag lights on, but check engine light isn't even on. Brake fluid's low. It's okay, we're not going anywhere. Tire's low. Cause that one's our spare tire. Park and brake service. But hey, we're running. Let's check it out. Okay, so it hasn't run in a long time, so there's definitely a cold start for it, but it smells okay. I spilled a little bit of oil when I was pouring it in, so maybe that's what I'm smelling, a little bit of oil, but overall pretty good. It's revving kind of high, now it's coming down. Nice. Sweet. Tail lights are working. Doesn't sound loud at all. I mean, the EcoBoost, pretty small motor, I would say, but not bad. That is a good sign. I'm happy and relieved that it started first try, and it sounded pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan this thing, make sure there's no crazy hidden surprises or anything inside. Let's see what kind of code faults we get. So it is kind of being weird. I don't know why I can't actually see where to clear my codes, just hot functions and programming, which we don't need to do now, but that's fine. I am happy and satisfied that the engine is starting and it sounds pretty good. I can go ahead and take out my old airbags, buy my module, because my seat belts are locked up, gotta get that out too. And keep moving forward. So I think it's gonna be a lot easier to work on this thing if I just go ahead and remove the top, the back, just kind of take it apart. That way we can see the interior a little better and start working, like I said, in the airbags, get the module out, get my seats out, because those need to be reprogrammed and rebuilt. So let's go ahead and work on the inside now. So the T-top is really simple, like I said, not even a T-top, sorry guys, that's just straight up came right off. That's pretty sweet. But this back part looks like it's a little bit more complicated. I got some bolts, brackets, so I need to take that off. And it looks like I gotta take these off. And I'll be able to take this top off and make it a real convertible Jeep. I mean, Ford Bronco. And just like that, the top is off. But dang guys, looks like we got some damage over here as well. It's kind of buckled right here. This kind of already got chipped off. Looks like it got hit as well, which makes sense. I mean, if this thing rolled a couple times, it might hit the top and buckles here and there. But this looks pretty straight. That's nice. It's pretty cool. Just. Get right in here. Nice. Now I could easily get to my airbag. This looks pretty simple, just unbolt it. That'll come right out. Same thing on this side. Cool. Seats fold down. Lots of room. It's got a quick top removal. <laughs> pretty cool. Side bolts. Easy to access now, just a quick disconnection here, had another disconnection there. This line also just hit a button and it came off, so that's pretty sweet. Good and bad. Bronco.
So the curtain airbag, very basic, very simple, and the same size, number eight, for the plastics and the airbag. Pretty sweet so far, really impressed. Keeping it simple, keeping it basic, and nice and easy. I got this side off already, as you could tell. No hidden damage there. Current airbag came right off. Should be able to just replace it with another one, no problem at all. It's pretty interesting, it actually curves around to the back, so the igniter, it's actually right here. Sorry, it's kind of dark. So it goes around and gets it right there. And there's a connector. I don't know if you could tell or not, but there's a little bit of damage right there. That we've seen in the front, also in the back, but hey, we'll get that repaired. Not a problem. It's aluminum, so it's pretty cool. Nice and light, it won't rust even if the paint chips. But it does look a little crooked. This needs to be pumped out. We'll get it. Let's go ahead and get this other air back out and keep breaking down. So next thing I want to work on is the seat belts. Sometimes they lock up, sometimes they don't, but they still could say, hey, they're blown. So I'm going to take them off and make sure. Sometimes they deploy, sometimes they don't. I'm pretty sure it would deploy since our current seat airbag did blow. But it's interesting it's not locked up. Like I said, sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't lock up. But we'll still take them out and have them rebuilt. So, where is the SRS module in a 2022 Ford Bronco? No idea. It's probably under there somewhere. Let's look it up and then try to figure it out and get this thing out so we can get it fixed. So then we won't have an airbag light. Who knows? So, I went ahead and unbolted the bolts on the side. So basically, I read online that it is underneath this console. It says take everything apart like completely, but that's fine. I can go ahead and lift it up and get to it. It's right there. So it's not too bad. Like I said, just a couple bolts on the side and lifts up and I should be able to access it without taking everything completely apart because I just have to put it back and the more things you take apart over there, they usually break, the little clips and stuff. So the less I have to touch over there, the better. But yeah, it's right there. I should be able to get to it, no problem. And there it is, cute little module. There's a strength control module, SRS module, or just the airbag module. So this thing has to be sent out for the hard codes to be cleared. So my airbag light will go off and it'll work properly after a crash. Some of them do have to be taken out, some of them don't with this one. I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna take it out to be safe. All right guys, so I got both of the seat belts out. The driver's side is definitely locked, doesn't wanna retract at all. But we're gonna go ahead and send this out to our friends in Massachusetts, Safety Restore. They do a great job getting these things rebuilt. Highly recommend it, quick turnaround. So all you gotta do is pack it up, send it out. They have an awesome website. And they actually could change the color on the webbing. So I'm gonna talk to my brother, depending on what color we wanna go with the truck, and the Bronco, we might change the color. Who knows, leave some comments down below. What color would you guys change your belts to? Let's get them packed up and send out. Alright guys, so basically update on our Bronco. We did as much as we can for now. We know it's running and it makes me a lot happier knowing that our front diff is okay, that things are spinning. It's just our rims, we need to either space them out. So we gotta go shopping for some new wheels or get new spacers, so that's definitely a must. We do have some more custom things coming for the fender, the quarter panels, some new parts are ordered and they're coming. Super excited about that. Won't well, you know ruin that yet, but it's a surprise guys. Really excited, this thing's gonna be transformed. Well maybe like leave us a comment down below what kind of wheels we should go with, like 17s. We should go at least 17s or 18s or 20s or 22s. Go big, I mean, and then like all tired. 35s, 36s, 37s, 38s. Make it wide, space it out. I mean, there's definitely a lot of still customizations. We do wanna make it unique, we wanna make it one of a kind. So if you see this down the road, you know it's been rebuilt by somebody, so. Or if it rolls over again, we know why. <laughs> we don't want that to happen, you know? It's a lot of work, but hey, we'll get it fixed. And we're, let's do a color swap, right? We're gonna do it either way, since we're, the whole body's kinda damaged, we have to paint it anyway. Make it unique. So leave some comments down below, what color do you guys want this thing? Honestly, we love your feedback, and you can really persuade us, because it's on the table right now. We could go either way. I'm, I'm going more for red. I mean, we've had a lot of red vehicles so far, but 
I don't know, something unique. Maybe orange. Lime green. Ivan wants a green color. I'm surprised not yellow, Ivan. Yellow would look kind of cool too, not gonna lie, but I don't know, like the sun, brown. We should have like Skittles, you know, like my truck's red, and we get a yellow one, and this. All the so Skittles. Green, purple. So purple. We had a purple one before. Yeah. This is we haven't done before. I don't know. Like I said, it is definitely debatable. What kind of wheels, what kind of color. But we just have to wait for some parts to come in right now, so we're still probably we'll going to take a little pause on that, let things build out. But hey, we are going to finish this thing. We are going to get this thing complete and get it going. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out NicoBrothers.com. Get yourself some cool Bronco merch. Appreciate all those that are already supporting us. Thanks, guys. I can't do it without you. And like I said, leave some feedback on what you want, how you want to customize it. We appreciate it, guys, and we'll catch you next time.